Did you know that with your Instagram page, you could be making money every month or even every day? Like this guy who was able to make over $26,000 in three months with a simple motivational page. Or this page that was able to gain over 1.8 million followers by posting videos of other people's workouts. Traveling is also a huge market, but it obviously takes a lot more effort. According to reports, 87% of people use social media for travel inspiration. Check out this account that's been able to get over 300k followers by simply traveling around the world. Most of Instagrammers just like this have transformed their account into a profitable business across niches like fitness, lifestyle, comedy, and even memes. I will give you the five steps to build business using Instagram. And the fourth one is very important, but my favorite one is the third step. But let's first look at step one, choosing a theme. The theme is like the heartbeat of your page and you need to be extra careful while picking it. Pick the wrong one and all your efforts will be for nothing. But what's the difference between a good theme and a bad one? Certain themes like fidget spinners or Game of Thrones won't get engagement in 2023, but traveling theme would. So you need to choose something that's trending at the moment and has the potential to go on for a couple of years. But you wouldn't want to be too dependent on trends either because they come and go. And while you could make money off of them in the short term, it won't be sustainable. From my experience, pick a theme that resonates with you. It should be something you're passionate about and can see yourself diving into year after year. You want to choose something you like, what the audience likes, and find a good balance between the two. Next thing is getting the right tools. Now, this isn't necessarily something that needs to break the bank. If you're a student, you can get full access to Adobe Creative Cloud in $15. But honestly, you don't even need that. In my experience, CapCut will easily get the job done when it comes to video editing, and Canva is all you need for designs. But all this will amount to nothing if you don't start posting. And three, how to make content. There's a bit of magic to this part. In order to make content that does good numbers, you first need to understand why people actually follow Instagram accounts. And I've come to the realization that people only follow pages for four reasons. Entertainment, news, education, and inspiration. All the content you see on Instagram can fit into one of these four boxes. But the accounts that do the best are usually the ones that tie two or more of these boxes together. And there's a simple reason why. The more niche your content, the less competition there'll be. And that means you'll get all the traffic. Once you've got that part down, it's time to start turning your ideas into content. Ever noticed how certain posts just make you stop and stare? That's what you want. For starters, say your niche is I've been using Canva lately, and let me tell you, it's a game changer. You really want to make that first few seconds of a clip or the first picture on a post really pop. According to studies, bold yellow text is what catches people's attention the most, so try to use that. Additionally, you could also take advantage of AI tools like ChatGPT and Perplexity to brainstorm ideas. But if you ask me, the easiest way to create viral content is to hop onto already ongoing trends. This is really simple if you're making reels. Just look up what sounds are currently trending and what kind of videos are getting the most views, then simply recreate them with your own twist on them. Reels are the present and future of Instagram, and there's no better way to grow your channel than to post them regularly. But before you hit that post button, do a quick rundown on if the content is actually going to go viral. As yourself, is this something users will stop scrolling for? Is it share worthy? Could it spark up conversations in the comments? Is there enough depth that viewers would want to bookmark it and circle back later? If your content checks all these boxes, congratulations, you've cracked the algorithm. Step four, picking how to monetize. Now, when you're monetizing, having clarity in your strategy is super important. Maybe you've got a product to sell or you're eyeing promoting someone else's stuff. Whatever it is, just have a clear vision because there's no point in gathering a big audience and then thinking, now what? And no, just views don't pay. So if you wanna make money, take advantage of your viewership to attract advertisers or sell your own products. If you're thinking of doing promotions, check out what others are charging. Slide into the DMs of accounts similar to yours and get a sense of the rates. Oh, and don't just wait for people to notice you have promo space. 
be proactive. Message potential partners and see if they're interested. For instance, if you're a travel account, hit up travel bloggers, resorts, or even agencies. If you run a beauty account, talk to brands like Sephora or Ulta. You get the gist. But it's important to remember that as your page grows and performs better, the leverage you have increases. Often, influencers or companies have far less traffic and reach than a thriving Instagram theme page. So the ball is often in your court. But sending a casual DM me for promotions isn't going to cut it for serious brands or influencers. So be professional and you'll usually get a reply. And when you do, don't just toss them a random number offer them some deals, stuff monthly packages, or special rates. This will make you look more legit, which will in turn result in you getting more brand deals. Step five, creating your own shop. As mentioned earlier, selling products is another avenue to explore. However, with this, it's essential to ensure you have the necessary rights and permissions. So always tread carefully and ensure that you're legally covered in all your ventures. For example, if you create content on positivity, like a NAS daily, consider the type of merchandise that aligns with your brand's image. A phone case, notebook, or even a wall poster with a motivational quote that resonates with your audience could be an excellent product to start with. On the other hand, if you run a meme account, your strategy will be distinctly different. With a younger, more internet savvy demographic, products like trendy t-shirts, hoodies, or stickers imprinted with positive popular memes or catchphrases could be your goldmine. And if your platform centers around financial news or insights, especially niches like cryptocurrency or stocks, the products and services you'd offer should be more refined, perhaps eBooks, webinars, or exclusive newsletters. The key is to understand and cater to your audience. The type of followers you have largely determines the route you should take for monetization. By being in tune with their preferences and needs, you can tailor your products and services accordingly for maximum impact. Success on Instagram, however, goes beyond just utilizing its tools. It's crucial to adopt a long-term vision for growth. Consistency is key. While it's understandable when new creators want to immediately release high-impact content, a steady pace of quality posts has proven to be the more effective method over time. Ultimately, your goal should be to grow and engage with the audience daily, refining strategies based on feedback and performance metrics. And brands that do that are the ones that distinguish themselves from the crowd. Hopefully you find some of this information useful and be able to use it to your advantage.